Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Scorpion Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is the second week of July 2017. And this week, it is the week of justice for you, Scorpion. It's a week of justice for you, Scorpion. So this is extremely good. Whatsoever is happening in this week, your focus of... Uh, the seven of pentacles is here so you're working hard to make money uh, success okay so you have the energy vibration of hard work in this second week for you scorpion it's a wonderful week I should say because a lot of things will be happening whatever that was trying there's going to be a new beginning for you and there's going to be a new beginning um, and there's uh, things that are playing out um the zodiac energy is water so it's good because your sister sign is having their 2017 zodiac year, um, birthday and this is good because in this week a lot of transformation a lot of things are going to happen uh, justice uh justice is uh, happening here and a lot of things are going to be reveal in this week also okay and um, the number seven is a prominent um, energy in this week whatsoever is happening number seven is a prominent energy is in this week I'm gonna go day by day uh, first uh, on Monday you have the eight of Pentacles which is good eight of Pentacles is a wonderful energies because money is going to come into you it's as if uh, um, the seven of pentacles uh, by you working hard the eight of pentacles is making sure that the money will be there for you okay so on Monday the money whatever the money is our money is there it's going to happen on Tuesday you have a situation with the Queen of Pentacles which is wonderful and the Queen of Pentacles is going to support you with your financial endeavors so whatsoever is happening this could be your mother you um, scorpion this good the queen of pentacles could be your mother she's going to help you out with money and gifts of money or whether money or gifts of money so this is going to be good in the middle of the week we have the number eight energy another a number eight energy so you have the number seven and the number eight seven to seven eight to seven is your number so number seven number eight eight to seven and seven to seven is your number and we have the energy of you moving away from uh, something, a conflict. It is uh, eight of swords. So you are moving away something. You're finally seeing the light to a situation and you're moving away from it. You're finally seeing the light to a situation and you're moving away from it. On Thursday, you have the Five of Cups, which is an emotional day. And this emotional day, you have to deal with somebody who is uh, the King of Cups. It's a very emotional day uh, for some people who are going to go to the cemetery. It can be very extremely emotional on Thursday. Uh, maybe there's somebody passed away and you've gone to the cemetery. But this has to do with someone who was of a water sign. A lot of people are moving away from people who is of uh, um, the... Um, um, a, a Pisces uh, or a Cancer it could be you yourself is being very emotional because you have uh, see, you have found out something and you're very emotional of a situation that was going on you're leaving and walking away from a relationship and that relationship is a private is your personal relationship you are going to move away from this relationship you can see this woman trying to you know hold on this woman has been not a nice person this woman and it is someone who is of a sword because it's a sword energy and it's a seven of sword this woman tried to get away with something but she did not get away with it this woman is someone who is of an Aquarius a Libra or a Gemini she tried to get away with something but it didn't happen and you are having a huge celebration because you're moving away because in the middle of the week you finally finally saw and and in the middle of the week um, with the, you decide I'm ending this relationship with this woman who is the seven of sword you're ending this relationship with this woman who is the seven of sword finally you saw the light that this woman was being dishonest and this woman was uh, not being honest uh, and you're finally moving away from that 
and on saturday justice so there's a balance that is going to come in and this balance when you release yourself or remove yourself away from a situation or relationship that you're having with someone of a sword sign so this has been coming up for a lot of people a lot of people have been having relationships with aquarians liberans and i'm uh, aquarians liberans and gemini and uh, you know you are finally seeing um you know it's as if you're mother was not liking or your mother or your father wasn't liking this person and you're finally see why and you're you, you know there's newness coming in on sunday you're finally finding inner wisdom and you found this inner wisdom and with this inner wisdom a new life is going to be um reformed for you and i need to give this message for somebody out there it's as if you are with um, the energy it says you can be a man or a woman and you have a relationship with someone of a sword you know an Aries a Gemini or a Libran and what is happening is that your parents either your mother or father someone who you love did not like this person it's as if she your parents saw that uh, it wasn't the right relationship for you that sort of a thing and you struggle with this because you were trying to find out why is it that your parents weren't liking this person when you were so caught up involving with this person and you realize that this person this person was a sword because she was trying to get away with something and on Thursday, you're going to find out because you decide in the middle of the week to walk away from a situation. Something happened and you decide in the middle of the week to walk away from something. And this thing that you're walking away from is a, is a situation that you have a relationship with someone that you want to walk away from because you found out this person has not been honest. You found out that this person has not been honest. Okay. So, and... Wednesday you decide to move away from this person on Thursday you're really really having regrets because it's as if you knew that this person wasn't um, honest and you were still holding on fast to this relationship so what is happening is that you finally let go of this because sometimes when we decide to leave a relationship we know that this person is not good for us you realize and you know sometimes your parents try to um, you know deal with it and now finally you're seeing it for yourself so whoever this woman was she was an Aquarius a Libra or a, a Gemini you are finally the victorious over her whatsoever is happening and a new life is coming in for you a new beginning is going to start for you and it's going to go back uh, to your parents because you realize that your mom was saying that something wasn't right or your father was saying that something was right or someone who um, felt as if something was right with this person and you're going to find justice so whatsoever that has happened with your parents and it could be someone who have tried to do something against one or both of your parents and uh, justice is going to prevail and you're going to win and overcome this woman who is the seven and see you see how she behaves this is a first class B Manson this woman is a first class B so for you men who have had an in run with this woman who is a first class B you're going to um, victoriously celebrate over her because you have you know you you are upset because you should have seen this this is what you're thinking to yourself it plays out so many times I should have seen this coming I should have known that this was coming I have seen signs and most of the times we get the red flags but we don't listen to the rest flags and this is what is happening in this okay as I go back and I look for some people 
there is going to be a wonderful positive endeavor um, maybe your mom is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and this is going to be positive because your mom is going to have the, the financial abundancy to help you to give you a new start and the eight the number eight is uh, is, is in your reading twice uh, and um, there is going to be justice for you and your um, parents whether your mother or your father who is an earth sign so look around for the people who have earth sign parents mother or father who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn there is going to be a wonderful balance this balance is going to be a money situation and that sort of a thing but a balance with whatever that has transpired between you two because there was a kind of flicked uh, friction that was happening between your parents your mother or, or so because of this woman this woman has created a work in your life this woman is a sick person get rid of her she has created havoc in your life okay so you're finally seeing the light and the truth to a situation and it's going to bring you a positive ending and a new beginning okay a positive ending and a new beginning get rid of this person whoever it is because it's not the first time that this message has been coming up the message has been coming up for a lot of times it's not the first time so please the unicorns wow wonderful 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 for you um for you scorpion this is the first time this card came up prosperity is coming in and that is true because you the you have the queen of pentacles the eight of pentacles the seven of pentacles uh, um and the six of pentacles that sort of energy you have and that is prosperity so prosperity is coming in prosperity is flowing towards you so be open to receive it oh my gosh congratulations you guys no one else has, had, has gotten the prosperity card no one else has gotten the prosperity card and count your blessing count that which is coming into you count your blessing for the prosperity that is coming into you because it's going to be one they're full this is wonderful you guys count your blessings say thank you whatever lessons you have learned from the person who is of an ear said whatever lesson you have learned it is a lesson that I've taught you something that you should never go back to whatsoever that was happening and this is positive 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 so prosperity and whenever this card shows up people trust that a lot of money is going to come to you whenever the unicorn brings this cat this cast this chest of money and that's you there money is going to come into you and this is going to affect a lot of you Pisces because you're hard working people and it's I'm seeing here that work is going to be you're going to be fully charged on Monday and the focus of your week is going to be hard working you're going to be planting your seeds you're going to be very hard working and you're going to see that wonderful things are going to come the ascensions card for you in this week it says Lord Kutumia oh my god okay I am so surprised that you Pisces got Lord Kutumia because Lord Kutumia is one of my guides also he's powerful he brings enlightenment so I call upon Lord Kutumi to bring enlightenment and support me. It is so, and it will be. So I call upon Lord Kutumi to enlighten and support me. It is so, and it will be. I call upon Lord Kutumi to enlighten and support me. It is so, and it is be. I'm sorry, guys, but I love Lord Kutumi. He's from um, another um, uh, um, into the galactic and beam from another solar system and he's wonderful he came back to help with the ascension on earth and he says Lord Kumika came from another universe to set the conditions for the golden age of Atlantis with Archangel Metatron he has returned to be the coin of the eight ray and the soul a soul ray of purification enlightenment and communication when you receive this card you are on a quest for enlightenment and I remember the first time that I was um, asking my angels and guides to guide me to whatever information that I should have because I never use people to help me I asked them somehow 
my in my DNA print is that I should have called upon them I should have learned their names and call upon them and I remember when I asked him to enlightenment and to show me the way and I remember doing my first card reading and I was thinking okay <laughs> you know is this it your guidance is to breed Lord Kumika blue tapas light in your aura expanding your attitude to one of unconditional love acceptance of others and personal responsibility Lord Kumika will open new doors for you and guide your footstep towards enlightenment and ascension so this is wonderful and he does because I work with him he does he I remember once I w wanted more information I wanted answers to something and he guided me to go to this bookshop and I was walking in the bush bookshop and I saw um, the volume three volume of a book that I wanted and I and, and these book were in English and um, I was in um, Europe and these book were in English so it's as if I asked for the information answers to certain things and the books present themselves in English and the three volumes so I end up buying like four of the books because <laughs> they're the, the three number three volume for all the book and, a, and another extension book so it was just wonderful so and with this information the books I read the book and I was like blown away because um, it was just a positive positive was good so you know Lord Kumika is extremely positive is extremely good he is a ex you know a, you know stand in your power and you know ask Lord Kumika for support and enlightenment and he will do that and I want to say to each and every person namaste and um, please like and share these videos and I want to say thank you to all you um, Scorpio nature for the help and guidance and support thank you 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 guys I love you all bye